Did you know you can make square eggs? When I saw this gadget online, I just had to buy it. So I placed an order, and a couple of days later, this box arrived. Okay, okay, I got carried away. I actually bought a whole load of gadgets for eggs, and they looked really cool, so I can't wait to try them out. So here's the egg cuba. Can you really make square eggs? And if you can, we need to find out, do they have square yolks? So I opened it up, and this is what we got. Curious looking thing. Oh, there's this sort of plunger that slides up and down in the middle. Oh, I see, you can unscrew this part here. It comes all the way off. Ah, and this plunger lifts out, and underneath is this flat piece. On the side of the box, there's actually some instructions, and it looks pretty straightforward, so let's give it a go. But first of all, I'm taking all the bits and giving them a good wash. Now, the box did say we need to start with a hard-boiled egg, so to help us with that, I ordered something else. It's a cook, store, and serve egg holder. Open it up and take it out of the box, and you've got this kind of six-egg caddy. It's made up of these penguin bodies all stood together, and there's this little handle at the top. So I took a box of eggs and slid them in. It's really cool. Their little arms are flexible and they kind of hug the egg. Now these eggs were size medium and they are a little loose in there. They're definitely not going to fall out, but I think this gadget can accommodate a whole load of different egg sizes, which is great. And the idea is we can hard boil them like this. I've got a pan of hot water ready and we just carefully lower them down in. Wow, how cool is that? It's like a bathtub of six farting penguins. <laughs> They're so funny. I'm going to put the lid back on to keep the heat in, but if you like, you could use one of these. This is a silicon pan cover with a steamship in the middle, and the idea is we put it on top of the pan instead of the lid, and the steam escapes up through the funnels. <laughs> I love this thing, and it's great because it can be used on a variety of different pan sizes. If you want to buy any of the gadgets you see in this video, there's links in the description. And if you enjoy this video and want to support me, please do consider subscribing. Subscribing. So, while those eggs are cooking, I'm gonna try out this. Now, this thing looks really cool. I opened up the box, slid it out, and removed the bubble wrap. Whoa, check this out. It looks like some kind of space rocket with a lemon inside. It's got this kind of pull cord on the front, and whoa, look at that. It makes it spin. That thing's flying round. It's such a crazy looking gadget. I had a look in the box for some instructions, and the good news is there were some, but the bad news is there's no translation. So, let's try and figure it out. Okay, so you can twist this bit and lift it off. Oh, and this thing just lifts out too. And here's the mechanism with the string pull. You can see without the inertia of that thing on top spinning, it just pulls out and doesn't wind back in. Here we go, I'll twist it back in with this. Okay, so we've kind of got an idea how it works now, but let's check out this. It looks like some kind of diving capsule. It's got this little catch on the side to open it, and whoa, look at that. Oh, I see, it's like a silicon pad. I think it was supposed to stay on that half. So I lined it back up, and yeah, well, there we go. They're obviously protectors for the egg. So, the idea is we take an egg, place it inside. Oh, that's a tight fit. Ah, th there we go. Close it up again. Then place it back on the drive lug, fix the cover on, and ah, look, I did notice the pin at the top didn't line up properly. That's definitely something you want to be careful of. I took the top off and reseated it, and it seems to spin quite freely now. So let's get spinning. Now you're probably asking, why on earth would you want to spin your eggs? Well, apparently this gadget makes the inside of the egg all mixed together. So it should break up the yolk and mix it all together with the egg white, all while it's inside the shell. So you can kind of make a scrambled egg inside the shell. Well, it sounds pretty pointless really, but let's see if it works. So after about 30 pulls, I took it off and opened it up. Thankfully the egg's still in one piece. And I actually went ahead and did three eggs like this because I wanted a couple of extras. And with the first one, I'm going to do a test straight into a bowl. Oh wow, yeah, look at that. That's definitely worked. It's really runny and, uh, whoops, I'll just fish that back out. Well, there we go, look at that. It's like perfectly beaten egg. But really, the idea is to hard boil them so that when we open the shell, it's already scrambled. But first of all, I'm going to take out these six eggs we were cooking earlier and sit them down on this board to cool down. Then I carefully lowered the two scrambled eggs in and we'll see what they're like in a minute. Now, one of the things I really like about this penguin caddy is you can just use it for storage. So once the eggs have cooled down, you can just keep the whole thing in the fridge. But now I'm gonna try to make the square egg. So I took one, cracked it on the work surface and gave it a roll to make it nice and easy to peel. Just pull the shell off with your thumbs. So to use this gadget, we put the flat plate back in the bottom first, then place the egg down inside, push it to the bottom, and sit this plunger down on top of it. Finally, replace the screw-on lid 
and start tightening it down. You can see as it's screwing in, it pushes the plunger down, which is slowly squeezing the egg into a cube shape. Wow, that's crazy. And there we are, done. Look at that. And for it to hold its shape, we're supposed to leave it like this for five minutes or so. And while we're looking at moulds, I'm also going to try out this one. It's called Eggomatic, and it's supposed to mould a boiled egg into this chick shape. It certainly looks really cute on the box, but how well does it work? I took it out of the box, here's the mould, it hinges at the back to open up, and there's this catch at the front to lock it. It also comes with these little chick feet, so once the egg is moulded, it's supposed to sit on these. So after washing it, I placed in another egg, folded it closed, and shut the latch. And I'm going to leave this one for five minutes as well to see how it shapes up. And while we're waiting for those, let's take a look at this. It's this egg cracker and separator, as seen on TV. Ooh. So it's a pretty interesting looking box, but does it work? I opened it up and removed all the packaging, and here it is. Interesting looking thing. It does feel a little bit plasticky. It's a squeeze handle, and oh wow, look at that. It opens up those legs. I think these two circles are to grip the egg, and there's a couple of very sharp blades here at the bottom as well. Now this part is supposed to be a separator, and if we look at the instructions, it shows we can use it with or without it. But if we did want to separate the yolk from the white, it clips over the back here, hangs underneath, and the broken egg drops down inside. I think it's supposed to catch the yolk while the egg white runs through. Let's try it out. I took an egg and fitted it inside the circular grips, and they seem to hold it well. Then I held the whole thing over a bowl and squeezed the handle. Oh wow, well that's worked perfectly. Look at that, really impressive. We can just easily remove the shell and place in another egg. I tried it again. And yeah, two in a row. It's worked perfectly, and there's no shell in the bowl either. You can even use it straight over the top of a frying pan to make yourself a fried egg. Pretty cool, huh? But let's test out the separator. I clipped it into the bottom and installed another egg. Squeeze the trigger and yeah, it's caught it and the egg white's running through. Oh no, it looks like the yolk has broken though. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, it's all running out. But I'm gonna tip the rest of it into this little bowl here. Well, unfortunately that time it didn't work like it should. But let's try it again. This time it's worked perfectly. It's caught the yolk, and you can see the egg white just dribbling through. Give it a little shake out, then you can just tip the yolk into a separate bowl. I think we were a little bit unlucky when the first one broke, but apart from that, it has worked really well. Now, have you ever seen this? This is a bogeyman egg separator. Open it up and take a look at it, and it's this really amazing jug with an under-the-weather facial expression. Poor guy's got a cold, and his nose is a little red too. And the idea is we just crack our egg open into the jug. Now, I did find because the opening into the jug is so small, it is a little bit tricky, but once it's in there, to separate the egg white, we should be able to just tip it out through the nose. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, actually, it's not coming out very well. Oh, it starts, but it's held back. Maybe the holes just aren't big enough. I'm giving it a good shake, but it's just not coming through. And if I tip the jug back, it just sucks itself back up inside. Oh, that's a shame. I gave it a really good shake to try and get some out, and oh, there we go. But take a look inside, and there's still quite a lot of egg white in there. I am struggling to get this to work properly, but eventually it did all come through. And once it is out, you can just decant the yolk into a separate bowl. I'll try it again quickly with a different egg to see if I can get it to work any better. Nope, unfortunately the same thing again. And if we take a look inside, you can see it's not even the yolk blocking up the holes. I think the holes are just that little bit too small for the white to run out through. That's definitely disappointing. Now, before we take a look at how our egg moulds are getting on, it's time to look at our scrambled eggs in a shell. I removed them from the pan and let them cool down. Then I started to peel them. And you can see straight away the colour inside is no longer white. It's not really yellow either like the yolk. It's more of a kind of dirtyish light green colour. I also found it quite difficult to peel. The shell was just sticking, and I wonder if shaking it around had somehow affected how it had stuck to the shell. And there we go, look at that. I've got to say it doesn't look particularly appetising. Now let's peel the other one too and have a look. I found exactly the same, it didn't peel very easily, but let's slice them up to see how they are on the inside. And as I cut through it, whoa, look at that. There's no yolk anywhere to be seen, it's all just mixed together and cooked. <laughs> that really is crazy, and it's a perfectly even colour. And when I tried some, well, yeah, it tastes like egg. But I cut into the other one too, and yeah, exactly the same. What an odd little gadget. But now, let's take a look to see how our chick came out. Open up the moulds, and wow, yeah, look, you can see how the wings cut in. But unfortunately, it hasn't really moulded a beak or a tail. Take it out, and well, yeah, it kind of just looks like an egg with a bit of a hole in it. I wonder if the egg wasn't quite big enough to fill the moulds completely. So I put a slightly larger one in, and really squeezed it down into the moulds and shut the latch. And this time, after it was done and I opened it, you can see it has started to make a shape. There's a tiny little raised part here where the beak should be, and there is a little bump at the back for the tail. Maybe the egg was still a little bit small, but it was a tight fit in the mould. I pushed it onto the feet, and there we go. It does look quite cute. 
I gave it one more go with an even larger egg. This time I was struggling to close the top and oh dear, that doesn't look good. Oh, well, let's see how it turns out. After five minutes, I opened it up and well, actually I can peel all this stuff away. It does look like it's formed a bit more of a tail and a beak, but when I took it out, oh, it split down the middle. Yeah, well, this is all a bit of a mess. Maybe if you had exactly the right egg size, this mold would work, but with my three attempts, I've not managed it. But now it's time to open the cuba. I unscrew the lid, then lift out the plunger and push the egg up from underneath. Lift it out and yeah, it's definitely a cube. <laughs> Check it out, that's so funny. But what about the yolk? So I placed it down onto the chopping board and started slicing it. And look at that, yes, it's definitely got a pretty square yolk inside. How funny is that? What a crazy gadget. And if you make a few of them, you can even stack them. But have you seen this? This is an automatic washing up brush. And when I saw one for sale, I just had to try it. If you want to see this, along with a whole load of other really cool cleaning gadgets, you can click on the link. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.